Hey guys, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. Today is Tuesday, October the 1st, and uh, before I get started, I just want to tell all of my viewers out there, happy October, and as always, thanks for watching. It is definitely appreciated. Um, anyway, uh, I really wasn't planning on doing a review today, but uh, when I got out of work, um, I decided to drive by, I usually take a different route home, but I decided to go by a beer store uh, that I usually stop at and just to check to see if they had anything that I have yet to try or anything new. Um, and lo and behold, they actually had one that I have yet to try. Um, anyway, it, uh, today's beer of choice is coming from the Green Flash Brewing Company out of San Diego, California. Um, I've actually tried, I think, three, possibly four of uh, Green Flash's uh, beers. Uh, let's see, I've tried the uh, the Hophead Red Style IPA, uh, I've tried the West Coast IPA, and I've tried the Saison Diego. And the Saison I was not impressed with. I know I've said that before, but I don't know. It just wasn't my thing. You guys uh, may like it. I don't know. I'm not going to go ahead and say do not drink this beer because I it's just a personal opinion so you know if you guys like that style of beer then you know you probably will like it um anyway like I said it's, uh, today's is coming from the Green Flash Brewing Company out of San Diego and um I've uh, I've tried several different brands as far as stouts go but I've yet to try Green Flash's double stout black ale and I checked this thing out on beer advocate and this thing rated I think like a 92 or 3 which is very good um, all the reviews that I read on beer advocate were giving it like a four to four and a half out of five out of uh, as far as a rating goes um, and uh, I think this thing has an IDU of like I think 40, 40, no, 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 it's lower than that, it's like a 30, 35, I'm really not for sure about the IBUs, but it has a very, very high uh, ABV, it has an 8.8, .8. I wouldn't really say it's very high, but it's higher than I normal, uh, normally um, have in a beer, I usually go with about a 5.5 to around a 7, uh, this one's a little bit stronger than I'm used to, uh, I've had them stronger. I've had them like 9.6. Uh, I think I've had one that was like 10 to 11 uh, percent ABV, which is pretty pretty damn stout. But um, I've yet to try this one. So uh, without further ado, enough of the bullshit. Let's open this thing up for it. See what it looks like. And uh, before I pour, I just want to say that um, from the reviews that I've read about this beer, they say that it is uh, pretty much black. I mean, with it being a black ale, that's expected. But they say that this beer is very dark, and I, like I said, I've read nothing but good reviews. I think Rate Beer actually gave this beer a 99, which is almost a near perfect score. Um, but like I said, I've never, uh, or I've, I'm not. I don't normally get stouts. I don't normally uh, buy those. Uh, I usually like the, the IPAs or the regular pale ales. And I do uh, like the uh, red style or the rye style IPAs. But anyway, I wanted something different today. I haven't seen this one in the store, so I'm gonna try it. Uh, Green Flash Double Stout Black Ale. So let's pour this thing up, see what it looks like. Wow, this stuff looks like syrup, black syrup. Wow, um, <laughs> this is probably the darkest beer that I've ever drank. This is darker than your typical Guinness. Guinness is pretty dark, but it has nothing on this thing. This thing poured a huge head, very, very thick creamy head um i can't even see through this thing this thing is like chocolate syrup 
I don't know. Um, it poured a good three finger thick head. Like I said, very creamy, um, almost brown. It, the, the head is not much lighter than the body. It's insane. I've never seen a beer this thick and this dark. Um, so let's put a nose on it and see what it smells like. Hmm. It's almost, it's almost like uh, smelling chocolate milk. It's very chocolatey, very malty. Uh, uh, it's got a very um, strong uh, roasted, uh, roasted nut, roasted grain smell. A little bit of a, a little hint of a kind of a, uh, a malty coffee smell. Um, it's different, very different. It smells very different. This doesn't smell like um, like a typical uh, oatmeal. I because they they kind of consider this an oatmeal or a uh, chocolate stout um, because I guess the the chocolate and it, I think they use they said they use okay it's not on the bottle they use like uh, golden oats. They, it's like they mash the golden oats in the brewing process. I don't know much about that. Because, uh, like, I'm normally more of a hop head. But this thing, I'm not even smelling hops. I'm smelling all malt, chocolate. It, it smells really good, different, unique. So, uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's take a drink, see what it tastes like. Very, very strong, right up front, very bold. I almost had to uh, bust through the, the, the head just to get to the, the, the actual beer. It's the thickest head. Uh, my, uh, my father actually took a trip to um, Europe, went to uh, London, and while he was in London, he stopped at a pub, and uh, he always wanted to try a, a real true Guinness in your um, you know your Irish style pub and uh, so he went in he ordered a Guinness uh, an actual pint um, and I don't know much about this process but they asked him if he wanted it regular or if he wanted it cooked I haven't really done any research he didn't really understand much about it either but he um, he ordered it cooked and he said that the uh, the head on that beer was so thick he said that you would almost have to cut through it with a knife just to just to get to your beer, which that's crazy. But um, anyway, this uh, that kind of I don't know. I just brought that up because it kind of reminded me of the way you described it because this thing has a thick head. Um, anyway, let me take another drink. Yes, yeah, very strong, very malty, very malty. Uh, it's very bold. Roasted nut, um, kind of a coffee, a, a strong, kind of a mocha coffee, uh, very chocolatey. Uh, I can definitely taste the oats. Um, it's very thick on on uh, very thick on the palate. It um very sticky. I'm not I'm not tasting. Uh, hardly any hops at all in this beer. It's, it's a straight malty beer. Uh, very malty. Very bold. Very sweet. But kind of a bitter sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of chocolate notes. A lot of um, a lot of malt. Uh, a lot of uh, a little bit of a. a <laughs> I, I wouldn't even really say pine, it's semi-earthy. Not really pine anymore, just straight earthy. Very earthy, uh, very malty, uh, bittersweet, roast, like I said, roasted nut. It, it's delicious, guys. It, it, I wouldn't say that this would be a session beer by no means, unless you like uh, sitting down to, to enjoy a beer and enjoying a thick, heavy, dark beer. Um, I typically like your, your, um, your plain style, you know, your, just your normal run of the mill, 
American IPA. That's what I tend to drink as far as a session beer. But this thing, uh, it's delicious. Highly recommended if you like stouts um, for quarters. I would recommend this beer. It's very, very delicious. Uh, but like I said, not really a session beer. But if you just want to uh, come home and have, you know, one, maybe two um, really good beers, this would be one to get on. So uh, I'm going to take one last chug. And uh, anyway, like I said before, drink safe, drink responsible. Uh, hope everyone has a great rest of the week. And uh, cheers, guys.